Uh, hello everyone, Helen here. Welcome to my channel. Um, I'm often asked if I prepare before making my videos and the answer is no, I don't do any preparation. Uh, I don't have any notes, any pieces of paper in front of me, nothing like that. Uh, because uh, actually the uh, real purpose of my videos in English or any other language and the creation of my YouTube channel is to train my spontaneous speech and um, of course if I have some words written in front of me uh, it's not it's not a spontaneous speech but of course um, if for example I decided yesterday that I'm going to make a video today and I know what I'm going to talk about sure I'm turning over in my mind during the day what am I going to say uh, so today I want to talk uh, to make a little talk on um, a book that I finished reading um, it is called Bubble No More uh, by Michael Errard unfortunately I can't show you this book because uh, I was reading it my on my cell phone uh, you can easily find this book online in English or in Russian I don't know about other languages because I started to read it in Russian and after reading 20 or 30 pages in PDF w which was really really inconvenient uh, I downloaded it in EPUB uh, in English and continued or not I didn't continue I started uh, reading it from the beginning in English um, so yeah English isn't my mother tongue and my level in English isn't uh, advanced or proficiency uh, but uh, well I've managed to read it and I understood almost everything and I have some thoughts on this book this isn't a book review actually because I don't know how to make a book review I've never done this in my life uh, but I'd like to express some of my thoughts on second language acquisition which is one of uh, main interests in my life now and uh, uh, also I'd like to mention some um, moments notions uh, from this book so this book is about polyglots and even in Russian translation it is called um, phenomenon of polyglots or something like that uh, and it is based on um, the biography of um, an Italian super hyper polyglot who lived a few centuries ago in Bologna called uh, Giuseppe or Giovanni I don't remember exactly but his second name is Mezzofanti you can actually google it read on Wikipedia uh, he's a very famous person in the world of polyglots and hyperpolyglots so he is said to have spoken many languages like more than 100 and what is more important is that uh, he is said to have spoken these languages fluently not not like 100 languages fluently but more than 20 languages like a native speaker and um, uh, there are also some other polyglots mentioned in this book uh, modern polyglots now living polyglots like uh, Alexander Arguelles for example and the author um, makes or does does make I don't know a research uh, on how uh, hyper polyglots brain function um, well I know definitely that I don't have any uh, specific abilities some phenomenal abilities no uh, it takes quite a lot of time for me to acquire a, a language a second language um, <coughs> of course I can begin speaking right after I started <coughs> like in a week like I started le learning a language and after one week of studying it I can make a video of me speaking the language but the question is how many mistakes I'm going to make in each sentence how natural um, uh, 
uh, my speech is going to be and uh, <coughs> Of course, in this book, uh, Michael Arard um, mentions some people who uh, have this kind of abilities, like they uh, take a glance on a word and they memorize it forever. Um, but if you're going to read this book, and I definitely recommend this book for everyone, uh, and you're expecting to find a secret of how to acquire a foreign language, I'm going to disappoint you because there is no secret. There is no secret. It's a spoiler. Uh, there is no secret. Uh, even hyperpolyglots who speak more than 10 and 15 languages, uh, they spend plenty of time on acquiring any language. Even if the second language is very similar to their um, mother tongue, anyway, they spend at least 80 or 90 hours on getting to the pre-intermediate intermediate level. It's never too easy, you know. And uh, so what I want to say is uh, I've always been convinced uh, that when it comes to acquiring a second language, there is no magic pill. There aren't any magic pills, um, like no uh, a secret method that will help you to uh, memorize 300 words a day. Actually, you can memorize even 500 words a day without any secret method, but the problem is that uh, you can't only memorize 500 words because you have to memorize words in collocations. Uh, you have to memorize verbs uh, and keep in mind the prepositions that you have to use with these verbs, okay? Of course, there are some languages uh, without prepositions, like Turkish, for example, but uh, there are many other difficult moments. Uh, and um, uh, so, um, Michael Arard uh, <coughs> is looking for a mezzofanti secret. Uh, he spends many hours in the library um, and in the end he finds that there is no secret but I don't want to reveal the end because I really want uh, want everybody to read this book because it's it's really useful even even if you are not going to become a polyglot if you if you're not willing to become a polyglot or learn any foreign language. Anyway, it's a very interesting book. Yeah. Uh, it's just it's a book about uh, another universe. Uh, of course, if you have studied uh, like more than two or three languages, uh, like I have, uh, this isn't going to be another universe for you. Um, but if you don't study any foreign languages, and you would like to take a glance on a, a universe of these linguistic outsiders, uh, this book is going to be really, really interesting for you. <coughs> okay, so um, I think that I've expressed myself enough for today. And uh, actually, I'm making this video for, for the second time because uh, 20 minutes ago I, uh, I was uh, recording it uh, directly to YouTube and uh, there was some technical issue, I don't know what happened, and so now I'm uh, recording it once again on Google+. Um, so yeah. Uh, thank, thank you very much for watching this video, and uh, don't forget to don't forget to su subscribe to my channel, and see you later.